Hello everyone, just Gorn here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo Real Life Inspiration video and we are back with another Zookeepers Animal Pack Animal. Today we are looking at the adorable tiny little Dick Dick over here with their amazingly cute little noses and big eyes and everything that they've got. Oh, they are such funky, cute little creatures. And yeah, let's get started right away with the first zoo of the video, which is the Zoo of Antwerp over here and in the zoo of Antwerp you might recognize this video because it is the same as we saw in the bongo video uh, Yeah, because in Antwerp the dick dick share their habitat with the bongo over here So we've got a very nice large habitat uh, Because of course the bongo need quite a lot more space than the dick dick would if they were to be alone But over there near the bamboo we can actually see the dick dick lying over there just kind of chilling a little bit and yeah, I always feel like with an enclosure this big, it's going to be very hard to spot a small little animal like the Dick Dick, but that often isn't the case. At least I've seen them in quite a lot of these enclosures. So yeah, that's really quite nice. But that was it for Antwerp. Now let's get into the Beekseberg part of this video, because yes, I'm very happy to finally have another Beekseberg animal in the game. And the Dick Dick originally were in this enclosure we can see right over here that we can actually see one uh, this is the aviary of the abyssinian ground hornbill and it was a shared enclosure with the dick dick as well but you rarely ever saw the dick dick i think in the like 30 times i visited the zoo during the course of this exhibit was still there uh, i maybe saw the dick dick twice maybe three times uh, and the thing is they had the backstage and they had a back holding uh, they never really came to the front all that often. You could also see the ground hornbill, by the way. And here you can see the habitat in a bit more of a lush state, but that was all the footage I have of it. And now, uh, I already mentioned, they used to be there. Uh, the Dick Dick have moved as that habitat that we just saw has been completely destroyed to make room for the Elephant Valley. So over here we're looking at the Secretary Bird Aviary. And no, don't worry for the Dick Dick, they are not sharing this space with the Secretary Birds. The Secretary Birds have moved to the Elephant Valley and the Dick Dick and the Abyssinian Ground Hornbill has, have moved into this aviary over here. So here we can see the Dick Dick and here we can see Hornbill uh, with their <laughs> trying to sell me some meats by the looks of it. Uh, so yeah, this habitat has been uh, taken in by them. But not just that, the Dick Dick have also moved somewhere else. And I'm not actually sure if they're still in the Secretary Bird aviary or not. Uh, which I'm still calling it that, even though there's not Secretary Birds in anymore. But anyway, uh, this is another enclosure where you can find the Dick Dick. This is the Okapi enclosure. Uh, so this has the Okapi, the Niala, as well as the Dick Dick nowadays. So super large enclosure over here. But out of all the three enclosures uh, that we've seen here from the Beeksbergen, this is the enclosure where I've actually seen them the most in, or well, not necessarily this one, but also the other one, uh, but they're so active. Pretty much all the footage you saw at the beginning of the video was taken in one of these two enclosures. Uh, it's just really, really cool. So over here in the indoor part of this enclosure, you can also see there's a tiny little door over there, uh, which of course is for the Dick Dick to get in and out. Um, this was actually originally built for the Red Duiker, uh, which is another small uh, ungulate from Africa but uh, the zoo doesn't have those anymore. So for a while, those tiny doors didn't really have a purpose, but now the Dick Dick have moved in here and uh, it's all going good. I think they had moved the Dick Dick here before and it didn't really work out, but now they're back. It's confusing, but they're there. They're with the Okapi. It's really, really cool. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's a great enclosure. It's again, super big, but still you see them all the time over here. I think it's just nice for them to have the space to get away from the people and that really, causes them to go out more maybe i don't know i'm not an expert on this sort of stuff but yeah super cool really awesome love dick dick bakes bear great <laughs> that's pretty much it for these habitats so let's move on to the next zoo this is the zoo of berlin and over here we're kind of at the ungulate row uh, around this big uh, beautiful classical house over here and um yeah this over here is another shared enclosure with the dick dick and the Jenarok, which this was my first time seeing Jenarok, so that was really cool. Uh, but yeah, you can see this very classic enclosure with the U moat over here, only like one and a half meter wide moat, uh, and not even all that deep. I don't know how this keeps in something like a Jenarok, to be honest. You'd really think they'd be able to jump that moat easily, uh, but I guess they don't. And um, yeah, this also is home to Dick Dick. I didn't see them outside. 
uh, or inside actually, now that I think of it, but uh, supposedly they are here. So that was the outside enclosure. Let's quickly look uh, inside this beautiful building over here. Uh, this is the stable building, the giraffe house, I guess you could also say, but it has stables for all sorts of savanna animals. But this particular part over here that we can already see from the entrance is the uh, stable for the dig dig. This is the indoor holding for them. So yeah, nice big space uh, with a couple of places to hide. Yeah, just look at this beautiful structure over here and lovely greenhouse in the middle of it as well. Really, really awesome building. It is just absolutely gorgeous. There's a lovely looking bench over here. It feels so modern, this interior. They probably changed it around at some point. Anyway, over here uh, we can see the stalls for the Genarok. Um, I'm not sure if the Dick Dick can get to those as well. But then if we go to the other side, that's the stall that we saw uh, before. Uh, kind of to the left of us right now. So yeah, this I think is exclusively for the Dick Dick uh, with the sticks and stuff around. I don't think the Genarok would go in here. I don't know. But that's it for Berlin, so let's move to the Zoo of Duisburg, and over here we have a peek into the Dick Dick enclosure. I did not have a lot of footage of this one, I will say, um, but over here we do get a nice brief overview of the enclosure. Some nice lush bamboos and stuff, similar to what we saw in uh, Antwerp as well. And we can see it's a shared habitat with the Cory Bustard, so another cool mix right there. So many mixes with the Dick Dick, and so far I don't think we've even seen a single repeat yet. But yeah, uh, over here in the zoo of Hanover, kind of in the older part of the zoo, is uh, this beautiful Dick Dick habitat over here. Um, pretty open, uh, but they were out and about eating some grass, being very cute. Uh, it was quite awesome. Uh, yeah, just a simple, nice enclosure over here. Definitely not on the level of theming that the rest of Hanover has, uh, but yeah, still a lovely habitat right there. And that's all for Hanover. So let's move on to the next one. And we are in the tropical dome of the zoo of Leipzig. We are in Gondwana land, entering the Africa area. And I just want to give you some of the beautiful scenery that surrounds you here as you approach the enclosure. Uh, yeah, it's quite special that they are actually inside of this tropical house, I would say. Um, and yeah, we're not even going inside the tropical house. We're also going inside this little African mud hut over here, from which we have a view into the enclosure of the Dick Dick, which is another shared enclosure with another new animal. Uh, this is shared with the Dick Dick uh, between the Dick Dick and the Hamlin's monkey over here. So there, of course, you can see a bunch of climbing frames for the monkeys to uh, to go about, and the Dick Dick have the ground space for themselves. Uh, what surprised me is that they actually get really close up to the glass over here, um, probably because that's where they put the food, but still, it was really awesome to see. Um, yeah have them have such good visibility over here. So yeah, pretty freaking cool right there. The next up we have the zoo of Osnabrück, where the Dick Dick have this simple enclosure uh, alongside the giraffe stall over here. So as we enter the giraffe stalls, uh, we can see the indoor enclosure of the Dick Dick to the side over here. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think the Dick Dick can get into the giraffe enclosure or anything like that. They just have their own little separate enclosure. Uh, that we just saw. Yeah, we can see they have a bunch of them in there and just a tiny little door to, to go to the outside enclosure, which uh, you can see in a bit more detail over here. It's pretty simple, but uh, yeah, that's it for Osnabrück. Next up, we have the Zoo of Rostock, uh, where we have this kind of larger savanna yard. We also saw this one in the sable antelope video because this habitat also has not the sable antelope, but the roan antelope, which we also included in that video. And yeah, it also has the dick dick in here. And this is where I told Pacha I was here with, with Pacha comic. And I said, wow, you, how are you ever going to spot a dick dick in here? And then he just pointed and was like, look, there's one. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, point taken. Uh, it is possible to spot the tiny little dick dick in the giant uh, savannah habitat over here. So yeah. No, no complaints, I guess. <laughs> it's just uh, a very spotable animal, I suppose. Anyway, next up is the Zoo of Schwerin, where we are at the Red List building over here, the Red List Center, I should say. Uh, it's a really lovely building with the wooden outside and the kind of mud wall uh, inside over here. And all about, of course, endangered species that are on the Red List. So here we can see a little kitchen, really cool stuff. But what we're here for, of course, is the Dick Dick over here and we can see a lovely enclosure. This is the indoor enclosure and we can see a bird flying around. That is the uh, red crested turaco, 
Really cool bird, I love them, especially when they're flying around like they're doing right now. You can see those bright red colors on the wings, so cool. Uh, but we're not here for the Turco, we're here for the Dick Dick, which is standing over there in the doorway. And as we go outside, uh, we can see a bit of their enclosure back uh, behind this thing, actually. Uh, that's where that leads into. And if we pan around over here, we can actually see some of the giraffe habitat that's behind here. And I'm showing just a little bit of that because the Dick Dick enclosure does connect to the giraffe enclosure. Although currently uh, the connection point is not open up. And as we get back to the front of the building over here, we get a better view of the Dick Dick enclosure, uh, which is right here. And you can see in there, there is actually a gate that could be opened up to let them in to the um, giraffe enclosure. Uh, but that is something that they're still training the Dick Dick to do. Uh, this used to be a yellow backed diker habitat and they were actually were really close to having the dikers trained uh, well enough that they would return to this enclosure for the night. Um, but the Dick Dick have not been trained enough just yet. So at some point they will be on the giraffe enclosure as well, uh, but they just need to be ready for it because they cannot be left outside during the night and stuff because it's very dangerous with things like foxes that definitely could hunt down a dick dick so yeah it's important they go and they go home at night so yeah uh, that was it for Schwerin next up we have Der Grüne Zoo Wuppertal uh, where also in the Africa area coincidentally actually across this habitat is the Okapi habitat that also has yellow back tiger which uh, <laughs> we just mentioned as well in Schwerin. Oh yeah, this is the enclosure. Uh, pretty simple, but very lush, quite nice as well. Don't think I've ever seen the Dick Dick outside here in the two times I went. But yeah, still pretty cool enclosure right there. And then lastly, we have Dierenpark Zizo, where I am uh, ashamed to admit I have very bad footage of this one. Uh, apparently, the two times I've gone back to the zoo with my GoPro, I never bothered to record this enclosure. Uh, so here we do have a view of their indoor area. Very simple and um, efficient, I guess. Uh, and then this is the only footage that I have of the enclosure. Sorry, it's not anything better than this. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a nice large enclosure uh, with a very cagey <laughs> backstage holding over there. Um, and yeah, there's quite a few plants and bushes all around. But yeah, that was it for Dierenpark Zizo. And that's all the dick dick footage that I have to share with you guys. So hope you enjoyed, hope you got some dick dick inspiration and I will see you all in the next Real Life Inspiration video. Thank you, bye bye.